So you've heard the phrase, there is that of God in each individual. What does that mean? Well, I think what it means is that everyone brings something different to this world. And it's important. And that if we have all these differences working together, you've got that of God. As you come to a new situation, every situation that each individual comes to, you bring your portion or your connection or your that of God, your light with you into that situation. It means like if you um, are in any way religious that like you have some type of God in you and that like it will always be there like no matter what. There's something spiritually alive in every human being, and you may not know it or feel it right away. This is the apocalypse. Ah, I didn't know it'd go down like this. All the little forks on the fire the place, and all the money in the bank of Bill Gates. All the awards on up on the wall. All the little children try to make a phone call. Nickel dime distracts American Idol voting. Excel on the shelf complete with sugar coating. This is the apocalypse. Ah, I didn't know it'd go down like this. All the files organized alphabetical. All the scenarios were hypothetical. All the fish are people with hooks and baits. Lots of people complaining about the interest rate. Come place and see the opiate. Of the mass, each law made the hang to me, it means that you have to treat everyone with respect and just view everyone as, as your equal. It also means that everybody has access to the truth, um, but what's interesting to me about that is that the truth might be different for different people. An inner light in us that um, is our core and it's our inner self. The power of God resides in the heart of men. So, I mean, instead of having faith in religion and some omnipotent being, you should have faith in yourself. It makes me kind of change how I think about people that I don't like or frustrate me or that I tend to categorize as bad. That even though maybe they are bad, or they not all bad. If, they, if I have a little bit of a God in me, do they have a little bit of God in them too? Not everybody's perfect, so like everybody has some good things about them and some things that aren't as good. Um, nobody's perfect and not even God. Every human being on earth has an inherent human dignity. Uh, there's some goodness inside of every person. Um, and some people would even maybe suggest that there's a certain amount of divinity or, or God-like nature inside of every person. So, and it's like our responsibility to do his will and to like support him and try to be like him in any way we can. Everyone has a part of God in them. And if we're quiet and we get in tune, we can, con we can connect with that God or the high power or wh whatever it is, that essence. So everyone has it. It's just a matter of tuning in to it. Most people don't. And that's the problem with the world. If people were quiet and still and listen to their inner voice, they would know in which direction to go and what to do. Good people, bad people, God's with them all the time. I think there's kindness in everyone. First, like, there's a lot of God in each of us and um, that we can all um, intend to be perfect if we can try. There is something that goes beyond entirely rational understanding about a person's character that is within them, manifests itself in the way they act, the way they think, and that it comes from a place that can be considered divine. This is the apocalypse. Ah, I didn't know we're going down like this. Smile, sell on the faces of the people of the news. All making small talk about celebrities and their shoes. Proud, where etiquette is at an all time high win. Men losing weight, at least they try, try, try. You can buy a certain nice for 1995. But wait, that's not all. Act now and get another five.
This is the apocalypse. Ah, I didn't know it would go down like this. Oh, the eighth note quantized in a row. Accents unified from Bell, Ella, Chicago. No, by these two boys can be heard above the din of.